So the reason she said she's not obese and has no hirsutism is there's a classic old diagnosis of PCOS, non-ovulating women, uh, that, are, that supposedly are overweight and have hirsutism and oily skin. And, uh, but that's invalid. That occurs in maybe 1% of women with PCOS. If you have irregular cycles, you're obviously not ovulating. That's PCOS. And what causes the PCOS is you were born with an excessive number of eggs. That sounds good because you're going to have a late menopause because you have so many eggs, a high ovarian reserve, very easy to deal with that situation. But when you have that many eggs, ironically, it inhibits your pituitary gland secretion of FSH in the first part of the cycle. And by, by inhibiting that FSH, you never really recruit a dominant follicle. So all those eggs are hurting your chances of ovulating so many eggs that it prevents your pituitary gland from acting properly. You don't recruit a dominant follicle and you have these irregular non-ovulatory cycles. So what you do for the, and, and the majority of women that have PCOS are, are thin and not hirsute and, and not oily. Uh, that's just the most extreme example. And that goes back to what we used to call the stein levithal syndrome in the old days before we had ultrasound and hormone assays. So now we know that maybe 1% of women with PCOS have those stein levithal appearances, uh, but 99% uh, look just perfectly normal, uh, but they have an excess of eggs causing the PCOS. So what's the treatment? Well, when you're not trying to get pregnant, you really ought to be on birth control pills 21 days and on and seven days off because it's not healthy to have these estrogen dominant irregular cycles that builds up a heavy estrogen dominant uterine lining, which can result in a higher risk of uterine cancer later in life. So if you have PCOS and you don't want to get pregnant, you should be on birth control pills 21 days on and seven days off. You'll have regular cycles. It'll be more convenient and uh, you're not going to risk uterine cancer. But when you want to get pregnant and have a baby, you need to do IVF. Now, the right way to do IVF is mini IVF. And the reason is when you have so many eggs and you get stimulated in the regular way for IVF, your ovaries just get huge. You have way too many eggs, too many follicles, and you get hyperstimulation syndrome. So we don't want that to happen. Uh, you get more eggs than you need, very bad quality eggs. Uh, and that's kind of a standard IVF isn't going to work. But with mini IVF, we're able to get really good quality eggs and avoid any dangerous hyperstimulation syndrome. We retrieve the eggs. We're only going to transfer one or at most two embryos at a time. You're not going to have multiple pregnancies. So it sounds extreme, but the safest immediate treatment for infertility caused by PCOS is mini IVF. So I hope that answers your question and um, I'll be glad to answer any more questions. Thank you.